If you don't already know, ChatGPT now has plugins, and this plugin right here called WebPilot is really going to speed up your research process for KDP. So, I already have WebPilot installed, as we can see just here. Now, one thing to quickly note, and that is that these plugins for ChatGPT are only available for ChatGPT4, which is a paid subscription, so please keep that in mind as well. So, what I'm actually going to do is share with you and show you how you can use WebPilot to really speed up the research process, and how to brainstorm a bunch of new ideas really quick for the titles of your books. So again, I already actually have this installed. It's WebPilot. Go and install this because what it's going to do is browse any website that you give it and then it can analyze that data, which is pretty cool because that means we can go over to Amazon. We can take any URL for any type of book, for this example, we're going to do flower coloring books for adults. Remember, this can be for anything, not just coloring books. You could do log books, planners, puzzle books, activity books. Remember, it takes the URL of any website that you give it and then gives you all the information that you ask it about that website. So let me go ahead and show you how you can really speed up the research process and brainstorming process of your new books. So again, I'm on ChatGPT4 and we have WebPilot installed. Now we're going to come down to here and we're going to ask it something about that website. We're going to put, can you give me a list of the top 20 coloring book titles from this page? And now we're just going to click enter and let it do its thing. Now it's going to go over to Amazon that specific page just here is going to analyze it and it's going to give us a list of the top coloring book titles from that page, which is very, very powerful. This tool is an absolute time saver. So let's just give it a second for do its thing. And I'm just going to speed up the process by pausing the video until it's done. And there we go. So it's gone through to Amazon, it's scanned that page, and now it's given us all of the book titles from that page. So now what we can also do is come back to the search bar just here, and then we can ask it, can you also give me the most used keywords from this page? And now we're going to click enter, and now it's going to do its thing again, go through and it's going to pull all of the related keywords from this page. So again, let's just pause the video while it does its thing. And there we go. So it says these keywords suggest that the page is primarily about flower coloring books for adults with a focus on relaxation and stress relief. Books feature designs of flowers and botanical prints. And they are available for purchase on Amazon with free delivery. So now we can ask it another question. Now what we're going to ask it, well, can you also give me the most used long tail keywords from this page? Now we're going to click enter. So now we actually have all of the book titles or 20 book titles from over on Amazon for flower coloring books for adults. We also have the most used single keywords just here, which are like flower, coloring, book, adults, designs, relaxation, stress, relief, patterns, floral, beautiful. And now we've asked it for the most long tail keywords, and they are flower coloring book for adults, stress relief flower coloring book, relaxing flower designs for adults, botanical floral prints, for stress relief and many more. Now what we can do is also use this data just here, these long tail keywords, to go over to Amazon, start typing it in and doing research that way as well. It's just a great way that you can get data to dive deeper on. But 
what we're now going to do is use all of this data just here to come up and brainstorm a bunch of ideas for book titles and subtitles. And then we could actually go through all of the list that it gives us. We can take one if we want, or you can mix and match. You can just use it as inspiration to create your own titles. So now what we're going to do is ask it this. Using the titles, keywords, and long tail keywords from above, can you create me five brand new flower coloring book titles that are better than the ones from this page? Make sure that the title and subtitle combined together is less than 200 characters. Make them short, unique, and catchy. Now, why 200 characters? Well, if we come over to KDP, from one of their help pages. I'll link this down in the description as well in case you want to come through and have a little read. But it says just here, subtitles. Together, your title and subtitle must be 200 characters or less. So ideally, the shorter, the better. So now, let's come back over to here. Let's click Enter. And then again, I'm just going to pause the video to speed up this process or maybe not as it's already working, but we can see we now have five different ideas that we can use or use as inspiration to create even better ones. We have Blossom Harmony, a symphony of floral designs for adult stress relief and relaxation. The second, Petal Palette, unleash creativity with beautiful botanical prints for adults. The third one, Floral Serenity. The fourth one, Bloom and Breathe. And the fifth one, Garden of Calm. I really like that idea. And then the subtitle is Adult Coloring Book with Unique Floral Designs for Tranquility. So as you can see, you can brainstorm ideas really, really fast. Now a good best practice to live by is that if you are going to use one of these ideas outright, then always make sure to take that title and that subtitle, go over to Amazon, plug it in, and just make sure there's not an exact match, because you don't want your books with an exact match with other books on Amazon. But using this, doing it this way, you're going to get some really great unique ideas that you can use or you can use as inspiration to create even better book titles. Now, one more thing that I do suggest you doing if you are going to start using this, and that is not to actually use these first set of ideas that it gives you. The best thing to do is start making variations. So what we can do is ask it, can you give me five variations on and then choose your favourite. My favourite is Garden of Calm, so we're going to go with number four. Then, once we click enter, it's going to give us variations on this fourth title. So now we have Bloom and Exhale. Breathe in Blooms. Oh, I really like that. Blossom and Breathe. Inhale Blooms and Bloom, Breathe, B. In fact, I've just realized I put number four. I meant to do number five. So now we're actually going to take this Garden of Calm because that one was my favorite. And then we're going to say, can you give me five variations on, and then Garden of Calm. Now, if we put number five, it might think this one and do that. So we're actually just going to put that book title. Now, let's click enter and see what it gives us. So, of course, here are five variations. Serenity Garden, I quite like that. Calm in Bloom, another good one. Garden of Tranquility, Blossom Oasis, and Peaceful Petals which I actually really like this. So again, this is just a really great way to brainstorm a bunch of ideas for the niche that you want to create a book around. Ideally, you already want to know the niche and the book type that you want to create. Then once you've actually done that research and you already know what type of book you're going to create and in what niche, 
then use this little strategy just here to brainstorm book titles really, really fast. But just remember that this is for ChatGPT4. If you don't pay for ChatGPT, then you won't get access to all of the plugins. And if you do already have ChatGPT, then you can just install this, it's called WebPilot, and then start playing around. Now, that's it for today's video. If you liked this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then click right here to watch my AI playlist.